At the end, either I confess or he finds out, so I have to confess. What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post, guys. I'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out. But you guys read the title? Let's just get into it. So, Reddit relationship advice. I cheated on him so bad and I regret it deeply. We've been together for four years, but we had some issues in the last two years. I gave him trust issues while I was being suspicious for stupid things that was really nothing more than replying to a school friend, but deleting it because I'm afraid it would make a fight. At the end, either I confess or he finds out, so I have to confess. He wasn't affectionate towards me at the end, and I was so depressed because I was doing nothing and was trying to prove to him that I'm good now and not hiding anything. One day I went on a trip with my friends and I met a guy who was so obsessed with me from the first sight I kept pushing him away. But when I got back home, he followed me on Instagram and added me. So I posted about my boyfriend so he knows I'm taken. Still texted me and I was still pushing him away and writing everywhere about my boyfriend. So I talked to him and told him I'm in a relationship, but we kept talking for hours and agreed to end things. But we talked again and again, and we started flirting and kind of dated while I was still with my four year boyfriend. We met and kissed multiple times. At the end, I confessed everything to my boyfriend and I was really sorry, regretting everything. He was so shocked. He left me and I went back to that trip guy for a week while my boyfriend was going through hell. Wow. But eventually he called me and was asking me to leave that guy and we should work on our relationship and have a new good start and he would forgive me. It was going very well but he started to have flashbacks and remember how I betrayed him and all the lies so he brings it up every day and says he doesn't love me anymore but he wants to keep trying and I really love him and I would never hurt him again. Never look to any other guy, but he still hurts and now three months past, he still says mean things to me, but I keep saying he has every right to. I really want this to work, but he won't open his heart to me. He says it's too hard to love me again. What should I do? Wow, let me give my thoughts. I know he needs to leave, leave you alone. He'll never trust you again. He needs to leave you alone. You were with that guy. As soon as you told your boyfriend, you confessed everything because you wanted him to break up with you and push you into the arms of the guy that you met on the trip. As soon as he said, oh, we're done, you went straight to the guy you was on the trip with. You liked him. You liked being around him. As soon as your boyfriend called, you ran back to your boyfriend. You're going to always keep that guy that you met on the trip around. He's not going anywhere. And you're going to keep your boyfriend around as long as he puts up with your mess. You're going to always keep a guy. And it sounds like at least your boyfriend is willing to play that. And I don't, I don't know why some guys do it. Don't be this guy. Because she's not going to get rid of the guy she cheated, cheated on you with. It's not going to happen. Guys, I'll be back tonight at 8.30. Come back tonight for another story. But let me know what you think about this in the comments. And I'll catch you guys at the next one. Year old male, ex 33 year old female, called me up crying about the man she left me for. Saying he left her. Should I tell her to kick rocks and that this is karma for cheating on me with this man or should I be the bigger person and be there to help? So yes, it's just like the title says, but I figure I give a little more context. 
My ex and I were together for 11 years and I caught her cheating on me. She had been sexting multiple guys. She cried and promised she never talked to them again and I forgave her. A whole year went by and after that I found out that she was cheating on me again, but this time going out and having sex with other people. One being, let's just call him Peter. So I left. Over the next year and a half, we would talk to each other sometimes. I would never ask about Peter because I didn't care, because it was none of my business. All I knew is that he lived in New Jersey, and that we live in Rhode Island. Or I forgot to mention that he is married, and was cheating on his wife with my ex. My ex was my best friend, and so it was very hard when she left because I had no one really to talk to that knew me. But during that time, I picked myself up, got my own place, made new friends, and got into a really good spot in life again. So my ex calls me up yesterday, crying. She told me for the past six or so months that she has been depressed and says she wants to give up. I guess Peter only comes by once a month, and every time he does, he's just a prick. She has lived her life around his schedule apparently the whole time. They've gone from talking every day to now talking once or twice a week. My ex seems to think that Peter wants to get back with his ex-wife. Peter has now blocked her on everything and will not return any of her messages. Should I really give a crap about what these two are going through? These two crap bags took everything from me. My life, my home, my pets. I'm not the kind of person to turn somebody down when they are in trouble because I have a big heart and that usually gets me pushed over. I care enough about her to not want her to, to hurt herself. Edit. Wow, I did not expect this many responses. Thank you for the positive and negative responses, everyone. Since my father's death, I moved into a new apartment and I live alone with my cat. I am currently single, but I am not looking because I just have a hard time trusting anyone anymore. I told her that I will not be there to help her as she, as she was not there for me when I needed it most. Yes. I said that you two destroyed my life and now you want sympathy. I wanted to scream at her, but I just felt pity. I told her to seek help from a professional. Absolutely. I am happy with my life and I finally got some closure to this mess. I truly believe in karma now, more than ever. By the way, if I ever met Peter... In person, I will rip his throat out and shove it down his mouth to make his throat new again. <laughs> wow. Let me give my thoughts on this. Smart, smart man for not helping her out. If Do you really, do, and you know this, I know you know this, but if she was, she moved on with Peter, never even contacted you. And let's just say you were in deep trouble um whether it was financially whatever it was you needed a shoulder to lean on because you said that was your best friend at one point and she was all you knew and all you had or whatever but let's just say you needed you needed her for something after she left you for peter you think she would have helped you 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 think she would have been there for you no unless there was something in it for her unless it was something in it for her you know, let's say you were just depressed and you you needed just someone to talk to and you needed a getaway. And she just hits you with, well, you know what? I think you deserve a vacation. I tell you what, go ahead and book a vacation for a week, you know, all inclusive somewhere and I'll come with you. She'll sneak in a free vacay on you. Man, you know. So when I see this edit, I'm so glad you decided to move on, not help her and tell her to go seek professional help. That's not your job. She walked out of your life. Let her let her stay out there. Let her stay out in the streets. That's her fault. Now this guy doesn't want her anymore. She has no one. And she feels as if she could run back to you. Oh, he'll take me back. He's desperate. I was all he had. Of course he'll take me back. And it's it's for her. It's for her to feel good. It's so she doesn't feel alone. She, she'll run back to you. So lucky, lucky. I'm glad that you're smart. You were smart enough to be like, no. No, I don't want you ill. I'm going to move on. And it, it, I'm sure there was a part of you wanting her to come back and wanting to make it work. But you're smart enough to know 
But it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. And he didn't got back with his wife and blocked her. She is salty. Salty. So, um, yeah, reading the title was scary. So I'm like, uh, yeah, don't let her come back. But um, reading the update actually, you know, makes me feel a lot better. Smart man. Let's check out the comments. Someone said, you've already moved on. Keep it that way. I agree. No good will come from this. Block her and leave the password belongs. Someone said, considering how much she took from him, it's a wonder they speak at all. He's moved on, but not completely. Time to rip that band-aid off and go full no contact, which he should have done in the first place. Absolutely. Someone said, I don't believe in karma, but absolutely, you should tell her to kick rocks. Or if you prefer, totally ignore and block. Personally, I prefer the ignore method. It's a mystery why you are still in contact with this person. He responded and said, it's taken a while to get all my belongings out of the home, so I call her to schedule dates I can come by to get my things. Seriously, and I, I, I get it. I get it. You said, you, you, you made it, you said that this woman was your best friend and you were so in love. You were head over heels for her. But when she spits in your face like that, it should wake you up. Like, man, she never felt the same way. So don't sit and cry and dwell on that. I loved her so much and she doesn't love me. No, just say, man, I made a mistake. I I gave my love to the wrong person. Someone said, it's taken a year and a half to get your stuff. Am I misreading? He responded and said, yeah, trying to find a new home was horrible. I moved in with my father and when he died, I was homeless for a while. So yeah. Someone said, man, haven't you been through enough? Yeah, he, he, he was going through it. Man, smart though for not taking her back, man. Hopefully... Hopefully she didn't uh, convince you. And I'm just looking at your post now because I'm a little scared, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm a little scared. Uh, I'm looking here. You know, I see you in here. Relationship advice. I'm, relationship advice. I'm just going to read the title. When the past 10 plus years of your life was with the next, how do you explain past experiences without bringing them up all the time? And you had spent a long time with that woman. Yeah, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little while, but you just got to work on yourself, man. What do you do? Or rather, how do you react to friends making sexual jokes with your significant other? Oh, man. I, I really do wish you wish you the best, man. Um. It, 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 I don't see any evidence that you went back to her. So good. Um, I just wish you the best. Guys, let me know what you think about both stories in the comments.